Armchair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm glad you've joined our community. Check out the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage for easy access to videos about the body area you want to work on or the amount of time you have for your yoga practice today or if you want to stay seated or stand more. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget it is free and we'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. In today's practice, we'll explore poses for a healthy life to boost your strength and your balance and your mental well-being. So you'll need a chair and a yoga block for today's class. Now, if you don't have a yoga block, you can substitute a big book or you can just do the class without it. So let's get started. So we're gonna move forward in our chair so we're not leaning back and we're gonna sit up nice and tall. So feel your abdominals engage, crown of the head to the ceiling. Your hands are just gonna rest lightly on your thighs. And if it feels okay, you're gonna flip those palms up towards the ceiling. We're gonna connect our feet to the earth. We call that grounding. So feel like you've got both feet equally weighted and connected to that ground or that floor. And then also the sits bones. So we sit on these pointy bones and we wanna make sure that they're on the chair and equally weighted. So we're gonna close our eyes or if you don't want to do that, you can just soften them. And then we're gonna to connect to our breath. Remembering that the Sanskrit word yoga refers to that connection of the breath and the body and the mind. So we're just gonna take a moment here Feeling that natural breath. And let's elongate the breath. So we're going to inhale a little more deeply and exhale a little more completely. So let's do that a couple more times. And then just breathe your natural breath. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice, focusing on what you want to accomplish. One more breath here. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. We're going to drop our hands down by our side and then we're going to shrug our shoulders up into the ears. And then I want you to just let them fall. So we're kind of letting gravity help here. Let's shrug those shoulders up into those ears, feel that, and then drop them. And we're gonna do that one more time. Shrug them up, and then just drop. Ah, that should feel really, really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna drop my right ear towards my right shoulder. So feel the natural range of motion here first. Then I'm going to take my right hand and I'm just going to lay it on top of the head. Don't pull or tug. Just let the weight of the hand give the neck a little more stretch. And then I'm going to extend that other arm out towards the wall beside me. So a little neck stretch here. Just one more breath. Now let's bring the hand down first. Let's take the hand off of the head next and then lift that head up. I want to do another shoulder shrug. What do you think? Let's bring those hands down and let's shrug that shoulder up. And then down we go. And let's do it again. Shrug those shoulders up and then just let them drop. Excellent. Okay, let's do the other side now. So we're going to drop the ear towards the shoulder first. So we just hang out here for a few breaths, feeling that natural uh, range of motion, right? Then we're going to take our hand and we're just going to lay it lightly on the head. Don't pull or tug. It's just giving that head a little more weight to give a little extra stretch for that neck. And then we're gonna extend the arm out. Oh yeah. I don't know about you, but I really like this stretch. I feel it. Okay, one more breath here. So let's start by bringing the right hand down, then taking the hand off of the head. And then, ooh, if you need to help it, you can lift that head. <laughs> All right, very, very good. So we're going to move into cat and cow poses. 
And we'll start with cow pose. And we're gonna bring our arms back behind us and we're gonna grab the back of the chair, okay? So pretty low down, so don't try to grab it way up high, pretty low down. And then I want you to pull your shoulders, so I'm lifting up through my heart and I'm gonna pull my shoulders back behind me. So I'm kind of squeezing those shoulder blades back, all right? Now, if it feels okay, I want you to lift your heart. So I'm lifting my chin just a little bit, so I'm opening up through the throat and then this is my cow pose. And then I'm gonna round down into cat. So I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna put them on my thighs. Elbows are gonna stay wide. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Let that tailbone go kind of heavy, right? Round the upper back, tuck the chin. Look down at your belly button. Feel a nice stretch through the upper back and the back of that neck. And we're gonna do that again. Let's lift up into our cow pose. Grab the back of that chair. Pull those shoulders down and back. Lift up, maybe look up just a smidge. Let's add the breath. We'll inhale into cow, and then we're gonna exhale into cat. And remember, if you don't like doing the breath, just breathe naturally. Just don't hold your breath. Let's do that again. Inhale up into cow. Exhale down into cat. And we're gonna do it one final time. Inhale up into cow. And exhale down into cat. And release that and grab a sip of water. So we're gonna do a variation of horse pose. So we're gonna keep those knees forward. And I want you to take your left uh, heel, I guess I pointed the wrong side, take your left heel and lift that heel up off the floor. Okay, and then we're gonna place that down. And then we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna lift the heel. So this is a calf raise, so you should feel your calf engaging. And down we go. Let's lift and lower and lift and lower. Okay, now we're gonna do the toes. So we're gonna lift our toes up and place those toes down and lift the other toes up and down. So lift those toes and down and lift and down. Okay, so now here comes the brain work. <laughs> we're gonna lift the toes on one foot and the heel of the other foot and down and then switch and down again lift and down so we've got toes of one heel of the other lift and down again lift and down last time lift and down okay excellent so now we're going to go and we're going to lift the heel and the arm at the same time, okay? And down, now switch sides, lift and down. Let's do that again, lift and down again, lift and down. Now it's the toes, lift and down, lift and down again, lift and down you know where we're headed lift and down okay alternate toes of one foot heel of the other ready here we go it doesn't matter which one and down and switch lift and down and switch lift and down lift and down it's taking me some time to get it too lift and down lift and down, let's do one more, I finally got it. Lift and down, last one, last side. Lift and down. How did you do on that one? I hope you did better than I did, because man, at the beginning, I was not getting that one, but, but I got there, right? Okay, so we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna place them under, I'm gonna move a little bit further forward in my chair, and you'll see why here in just a second. So I'm gonna lift this knee up, and I've got my hands right under my thighs, okay? And we're going to rotate our leg. So we're going to take that knee and we're going to bring it out. And then we're going to bring it down. 
and around and up. And we're going to do that again. Out, around, and up. And then let's reverse it. So it's down first, and then out, and around, and one more time. Down, and out, and around. And let's put that foot down, and we're going to go to the other side. So it's a lift, and we'll go out, down, and up. And let's do that again. And then we're going to reverse it. So we'll go down first, and then out, and then down, and out. And put that foot down. Now, the add-on here, if you want, is instead of holding with two hands, I'm going to hold with one. Some other hand's going to come to the chair. Is I'm going to lift. And for me personally, I just feel like I can get a little bit more of a hip rotation here. It doesn't matter. If you want to hold with both hands, that's fine. Go ahead and join me with whichever version you like. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and reverse it. All right? So we're going to go down and then out and up. So a little hip rotation here. Let's do one more. All right, we're going to put that foot down, and then we're going to go to the other side. So again, you can hold with two hands, or one hand can hold the chair, and you can hold that leg with one hand. And we're going out, down, and up. Let's do that again. Out, down, and up. One more. Out, down, and up. And now we're going to reverse that. Yeah, good job. Let's do one more. Just little hip rotation, keeping those hip joints nice and mobile, right? All right, excellent work. So we're going to come to a sun salutation. So we're going to start with our hands at heart, okay? We're going to make a big circle out and around, come up to your mountain pose, extended mountain, and then we're going to bring our hands to our heart. We're going to come back up into that extended mountain, and we're going to make that big circle around, and we're going to bring our hands to our heart again, okay? Let's add the breath. Inhale, big circle out. Exhale, bring those hands to heart. Inhale, up we go. Exhale, circle it around and bring hands to heart. Okay, we're going to add on. So remember, you don't have to add on, but if you're with me, big circle out and around. Up we go. Bring those hands to heart. We're going to come back up to our extended mountain, and then we're going to swan dive forward, forward salute, airplane arms. So my arms are by my side. I'm pressing those arms back. My head is kind of where the ceiling and the wall meet. I'm stretching through my spine, and I'm going to bring my hands to heart. Let's do that again. Big circle. Up we go on that inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Inhale, up we go. Exhale, dive it forward. Now, we're going to place our hands on our thighs, palms facing up. I should have said forearms and let that heart fall forward, a supported forward fold. One more breath. Tuck that chin. Roll it up. Bring your hands to heart. Let's do that again. Big circle. Up we go. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart. Inhale. Up we go. Exhale. Dive it forward. Forward salute airplane arms. We're going to stretch through that spine. Let's put those forearms on our thighs. Give us a supported forward fold. Let that heart fall forward. Tuck the chin. Roll it up. Bring your hands to heart. Last time through. This is it. Big old circle. Up we go. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart. Inhale. Up we go. Exhale. Dive it forward. Forward salute our plain arms. Stretch. Supported forward fold. Keep that back flat. Look out, not down. Tuck the chin. Roll it up. And release. Ah, very good. Let's grab a sip of water. We're going to come to standing on the right side of our chair. And you'll be facing me. So you're going to take your feet. We're going to be doing an eagle pose series. So we're going to take our feet and this is a, a variation. And they're going to be hip distance apart, okay? Your feet are on the floor, hip distance apart. Remember, so anytime we're moving, uh, this will be a little bit of a balance here in a minute, 
but we want to keep those abdominals super engaged and lift our pelvic floor muscles, okay? So we're going to do it without lifting anything off the floor, to be, with our feet lifting off the floor to begin with, so that you can continue to do that version if you prefer, or you can add on, all right? So we're going to cross wrist to wrist. Then we're going to twist towards our chair. And then we're going to come center, and we're going to twist the other way. And we're going to come center. We're going to lift up, come back center, and then down we go. And then come back center, and let's unravel. Okay, so keep the hips forward. The, rib, the weight, uh, work is happening at the rib cage. All right? So now, let's, whichever wrist you had in front, we're going to do the other one. Doesn't matter. Just switch it up. And then we're going to twist away from our chair and center towards our chair and center down and center and up and center bring those arms wide one arm is going to be on top of the other we're going to hug ourselves we're going to twist to our chair and center twist away from the chair and center elbows up and center elbows down and center open hug yourself the other way other arm on top twist away from your chair and center twist towards your chair and center elbows down and center elbows up and center and release okay so you've got two great versions if you don't want to do the eagle arms you're going to do either the wrist or the hug but if you want to do eagle arms we're going to bring our forearms parallel to one another and we're going to take our right arm swing it underneath put the backs of your arms together or the fronts of your palms together either is fine right so if the fronts of the palms are together wrists need to be straight so not weird wrists right if so, then just put the backs together. Okay, let's lift up and pour them away from our face. We're going to twist towards our chair. And center. Remember, hips stay forward. Twist away from your chair. Come center. Lift up. Come center and lift down. And center. Unravel. And now we're going to do the other arm on top. Okay? Backs of arms together, or backs of palms together, or fronts of palms together. Lift up, forearms away from the face. Okay, are we ready? We're going to twist away from our chair first. And we're going to come center, and we're going to twist towards our chair. And we're going to come center. We're going to lift down. And we're going to come center, and then lift up. And come center, and release. Okay. So those are really good versions. Now, if you want to play around with your balance, what we're going to do is either we're going to have our block there, so hold on for a moment and put that right foot on that block. Okay? Really, belly tight. Let's release the chair if it feels okay, and let's just do the crossing of the wrist. We're not going to do all the others. If you really have a hankering to do eagle arms, or hug, go for it. I'm going to just cross at wrists, okay? We're going to twist towards our chair. Oh, do you feel it? Belly tight. And we're going to come center. And then we're going to twist away from our chair. And we're going to come center. And we're going to bring those uh, wrists down. And we're going to come center. And we're going to bring the wrists up. And we're going to come center. And let's release that, okay? Let's do the other side. Do you want to try it with the block? Or do you want to try it without the block? If you don't want to have the block, maybe you have the block there, but you need to lift your toes up off, it, off of it and see how that feels. Okay, let go of the chair. You can have your toes on the block, it's fine. Or not. Let's cross wrist to wrist. Are we ready? Belly tight. Let's twist away from our chair. And we're going to come center. And we're going to twist towards our chair. I know, I feel it. And we're going to come center. Let's go up. 
and center, and we're going to go down and center and put that leg down. How did you do? I know. I know. Balance is very challenging. Okay. So we're going to turn and we're going to face our chair and we're going to be doing a pyramid pose. So the first version of this, we're going to use our chair. And then the second time we'll use our block. Okay. So just kind of have your block here under your chair uh, and we'll be, we'll be coming to it in a moment. So we're going to take our foot next to the back of the chair. Okay. So take that and just kind of step it under your chair. The foot is a little bit under the chair. And then the other leg, you're going to take a step back. Now, we want that heel down, and we want the foot at that 45-degree angle, okay? So, I don't know. The heel is down, and the foot is at a bit of an angle. Bring your hips around. So, this is one of the important things in our triangle pose is we want to keep those hips down. I mean, around towards the, the seat of the chair. Keep that front leg straight, okay? Now, hinging at the hips. Not, don't hinge at the waist. Hinge at the hips. We're going to come forward, and I want you to try to shoot your head forward. Go ahead and place your hands in the seat of the chair, right? Keep this hip back, so the leg that's long, the one that's in front of you, make sure that hip stays back, and then just let your heart fall forward. So there's a standing pyramid pose. Excellent. All right, one more breath here. Now, go ahead and bend your front knee, and we're going to come up and grab that chair. Okay, how'd that feel? Okay, so now, instead of putting your hands in the seat of the chair, we're going to put it on our block. So I'm going to bring my block here. I'm actually, I'm going to step back just a little bit. I think I'm going to hit my chair. So I'm going to step back just a little bit, and I've got my block there. Okay? So remember, hips are forward, right? Front leg is straight. This is straight, uh, we're working into the back side of that front leg, okay? So the hamstring. So hips are forward. Lean and begin to hinge forward. Notice that my head is going out. Now I'm going to place my hands on that block instead of the seat of the chair. So again, I still have a relatively flat back. I'm looking out, not down. My hips are back, especially this uh, hip of the leg that's in, straight in front of you. You really want to bring that hip back to feel the optimum stretch in that pyramid pose. One more breath. Okay, let's go ahead and bend the front knee, grab your chair, and roll it up. Okay, excellent work. Now, I know we're doing the same leg, but we're going to do it one more time, and we're going to do that final little piece, and then we're going to go into the other side, okay? So back to that 45 degree angle, that foot, the heel is down. Bring those hips around. That front leg is straight. Okay, so now instead of coming forward and putting our hands on the block, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our hands behind our back and we're going to push those hands down towards the floor behind me. See what's happening? I'm lifting up through that heart. Front leg stays straight. Are we ready? Let's hinge forward. Remember, this is an add-on. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. My hands are coming up behind me. That front leg is straight. We have one more breath. Now listen, let go of your hands first. Grab the chair, bend the front knee, and roll it up. Okay, excellent work. Now we're going to do the other side. So grab your block, come to the other side of your chair. So we're going to take the leg again. It's the leg next to the back of the chair. We're going to Put that foot kind of, you know, up close to the chair, and then you're going to take a step back with that other leg. The heel is down. Hips face forward, straighten your front leg. Pyramid pose, right? So we're, that front leg is straight. We're stretching the back side of that leg. Hips are forward. Okay, hinging at the hips, we're going to come forward. Place your hands in the seat of the chair. Do you notice that my back stays flat, right? So I'm not rounding through the upper back. I'm keeping my back flat. I'm just letting my heart fall forward. Keep that front leg straight. Keep those hips forward. Pyramid pose. All right. Go ahead and bend the front knee and roll it up. Now, get your block set there. Remember, if you don't have a block, don't worry. You're just going to keep doing that same version. If you've got your block, okay, front leg is straight. Hips are forward, right? Extend the spine. Inhale here, exhale, we're going to come forward and we're going to place our hands on the block. 
Pyramid Pose. We have one more breath here. All right, bend that front knee and up we go. Okay, let's do that one more time before we add that final piece. Okay, are we ready? Straighten that front leg, extend nice and long, hinge. Bring those hands to the block. Front leg is straight. Hips are back. One more breath. Bend that front knee and up we come. Okay. Do you want that final version? Your choice. Here we go. Hips are forward, right? Front leg is straight. Hands behind. Press those knuckles down towards the floor, lifting up through the heart. And we're going to let that heart fall forward. Hands come up behind you. Oh yeah. Pyramid pose. We have one more breath. Bring your hands down. Bend that front knee and release. <laughs> that was so good, you guys. Really, really good. Okay, let's grab a sip of water. So we're going to move a little forward in our chair, and if you have your block, you're going to grab it and place it right between your feet. We're going to lift up through our heart, bring our arms back behind, and squeeze our shoulder blades back behind us. So a wide elbowed cow pose. Now from here, we're going to move into child's pose. So the first thing we're going to do is round down, and then you're going to take your hands and you're just going to place them between your legs and just kind of let your upper body fall forward. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit forward, okay? Now let's do that again. So we're going to place our hands back behind our head. Elbows are wide, squeeze those shoulder blades back behind. Keep those feet grounded to the earth. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going to move forward, hands and arms on those thighs. Let those hands just fall between you, your legs, just kind of letting your head fall. And up we go. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, but this time instead of just being here in child's, we're going to go ahead and begin to place our hands on our blocks. I'm going to personally start with my block a little flatter. If you want to start with your block here, or if you want to start with it a little flatter, it's fine, right? So you, you pick where you want it to be. All right, are we ready? Hands behind the head. Squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you. Remember, feet are grounded. Pull that belly in, ready, here we go. As we come into our, our child's pose, we're gonna let our hands fall between our legs. Maybe the hands come to that block. Let the head fall if that feels okay for you. Just kind of letting the upper body hang out here. One more breath, roll it up, and we're gonna do that again, one more time. Arms up, squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you come into that child's pose. So your legs are wide. Your upper body is going to kind of sink down between your legs. Your hands are going to rest on the block, or maybe it's just they're resting on the floor. We have one more block, one more breath here, and then we're going to roll it up into a seated position. Okay. All right, very, very good. So um, if you have your block, you're going to grab it in your right hand, okay? So what, and, and actually let's do it on the, instead of the bottom, let's do it here on this side. So we're going to bring those arms nice and wide. Now I want you to take your left arm and I want you to bring it all the way across the body and grab that block and then we're going to open it. And then we're going to grab, bring it across and we're going to grab the block and we're going to open it. So make your arm do the movement. Not Don't bring the block to the arm. Make the arm come across. So our elbows are still bent, and we're going to reach over and grab that block, and we're going to open. And we're going to do that one more time. Elbows are bent. Grab the block, open, and grab the block and open. Now, instead of elbows bent, let's straighten the arm. See how that feels. Come all the way across, grab that block, and open all the way across and grab that block. You feel it? Oh boy, right? Stretch over and grab that block. 
Bring the arm to the block, not the arm, the block to the arm. Bring it all the way across, bring that arm to that block, and then open. Now we're going to go overhead, up overhead, grab that block, and arms come out. Up we go, grab that block, and arms come out. Again, if you don't have the block, you're just touching hands together, it's okay. Touch and open. One more on each side, up, last one, last side, up and release. You feel your arms, shoulders, right? Let's roll those shoulders a little bit. All right, excellent work. Go ahead and set your block down. We're going to take our right knee and we're going to open it nice and wide and we're going to let our left knee fall down towards the floor. So we're going to push that foot back. So think about the back of the kneecap goes up towards the ceiling. Now, your left arm, this outside arm, you're going to bring it up and over, and you're going to reach it back towards that back calf. One more breath here. Let's bring that arm up and over. Let's release the knee, and we're going to do that one more time. Back of the kneecap towards the ceiling. Bring that arm up and over. Hand back towards that calf of that extended leg. I'm looking down at it. One more breath, and up we go. All right, Woo. let's go ahead and face forward. So the same leg is gonna extend out in front of you, toes to the ceiling. We're gonna lengthen nice and long through the spine. Inhale, exhale, I'm sorry, inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna bring those arms out to that extended leg. And then up we go, inhale, arms extend up to the ceiling. Exhale, we're going to come down, hands come down to that leg or the foot or whatever. Up we go, a moving pyramid pose. Now, this time as we exhale, we're going to come down and we're going to hold and we're going to breathe. Ha, for three and two and one. And then we're going to roll it up and release. Let's do the other side. Left knee opens, right knee falls down towards the floor. Push that foot back behind you, lift your heart. So relax this glute, back of that kneecap lifts up towards the ceiling. Now that outside arm comes up and over and it's gonna come back towards that calf and I'm gonna look down at it. And then I'm gonna bring that arm up. Inhale here, exhale, we're gonna come down, hand back to that calf, look. And do it one more time. Up we go. Bring that hand down. And release. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Now the right leg extends out, toes to the ceiling. We're going to lengthen nice and long through the spine. And we're going to let that heart fall forward. Oh, I forgot. We're going to do the extended version, aren't we? Tuck the chin and roll it up. All right. Ready? Extend those arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Down we go. Roll it up, inhale, hands extend to the ceiling. Exhale, down we go. One more time, inhale, up we go. And exhale, down we go. And then we're gonna hold it for three and two and one. And go ahead and roll up to see it. All right, very well done. Let's go ahead and move back in our chair. You can lean back if you wish. Hands are going to rest lightly on those thighs. Flip those palms up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, close the eyes. Best version of you. No feeling lasts forever. If the way you feel is holding you back, change it. Right now, you can replace futility with hope. Right now, you can transform apathy into enthusiasm. Have you had a disappointing few minutes or day or month? Here is where the disappointment ends and a more fruitful, fulfilling life begins. You will always face challenges 
and difficult situations. Yet you don't ever have to let any outside conditions get you down. You decide who you are, how you feel, where to focus your attention and energy. Decide in a way that uplifts your life and the lives around you. The world is as it is. Meet that world with the very best version of you and do the good work to bring more positive possibilities to life. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up at the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with the hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open the mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. And release. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. I am so very grateful for each and every one of you. Click the subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.